Free Radio, this is Andy. It's such an exciting day today. Not only is the Great British Bake Off back, but Molly King's here. <laughs> Hello, how are I'm, you? I'm all right, thanks. Are you a fan of the Bake Off? I am a fan of the Bake Off, yes. Although this sounds really bad, but I love it when the cakes go wrong. You know, when they like pull them out of the oven and it's sort of sunk in the middle or something. I'm like, oh, because that's oh, definitely evil. what would happen to me. It's only because I can relate to it, not because I'm nasty. But I'm like, oh, I've been there, my friend. Yeah. So Celebrity Bake Off. Not for you. Celebrity <laughs> Not for me, I don't think. So I thought you would have been great in the kitchen. I could see you, you on, a, on a Sunday morning in your gingham, oh. flour in your hair all over mm, the place. I would love to be that person. I really would. But every time I attempt to cook, the fire alarm goes off. So my poor neighbours are literally like, oh no, she's at the stove again. Which is, I'll be honest, it's not often. But uh, yeah, I'm just terrible. I'm really, really bad. I can't, it's all the timings of everything. You know, you've got that going on, you've got that going on, the Potatoes are going to get burnt or the chicken's going to be undercooked, which is never good. It's it's not good in my kitchen. So when the smoke detector goes off, you know, dinner is ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> Molly's been cooking again. What's your signature? What's your signature meal? Well, there's only one meal I can cook. And it, it sounds quite impressive, actually, but it's very, very easy. It's a sea bass. So sea bass fillet. Love sea bass. Oh, I love a sea bass. So I just whack it on the frying pan. I whack it up really high to get that crispy skin, flip it over, and it's done in about three minutes. So I only do that purely because it's so, so easy. And then I whack the rice in the microwave, whack in some microwavable veg, and there we go. Ping, it's Monday done. night is done, it's yes. It's done. <laughs> do you know what I'm loving about this? The fact that Molly's here on her own. So we get just to talk to you. <laughs> Without four of the girls going, oh, well, now I, I do like uh, beef ragu or something like that. I know. I mean, it's fab for me, but it's a disappointment if like Frankie was your favourite or Rochelle or something, because now I'm like, guys, it's just me. You were always my favourite, to oh, be honest, Oh, you Miley. charmer. <laughs> Keep it coming. Is it weird, though, not having the others around, especially now you're doing interviews and stuff? Yeah, it is really weird, because I'm used to like all five of us crammed, crammed around one microphone, you know, all trying to like chip in with our own points. Yeah, like what we've been cooking, what we had for dinner last <laughs> night. Whereas now I'm like, guys, guys, where are you? And if there's one of those awkward questions that normally I'd wait for like Rochelle to jump in or something, it's literally silence. So I'm like, oh, damn it. I'm going to have to answer this awkward question. Thanks for that. So yeah, it has its, its pros and cons for sure. Who are you missing more than anybody in certain situations? Is it different girls in different <sighs> types of situations? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Vanessa is very good for when Vanessa and Una are not more morning people so if you're feeling incredibly tired as well normally you'd want to just snuggle up to those two and now they're just not here so I'm just snuggling up to my pillow and Rochelle is great at I feel like I always got thrown awkward questions and Rochelle was that one that was great to just jump in and save me from those and then Frankie's just my best friend so Frankie's on the phone to me all the time so I feel actually like she is here with me right now in spirit yeah exactly (laughs) (laughs) so I'm guessing they've all been supporting you because you're the first one to go solo with a music career yeah they've been so supportive and that that means the world to me it's so nice that that they are supporting me you always hear these rumors of of girl band members sort of not supporting each other and the girls have been amazing so yeah I've been really really grateful for that so when did your solo career start were you still in the band or the band kind of like going we'll put that to rest or was it something you were already working on well with the band I mean we are still very much a band and you know I will always be a Saturday but we decided after I think it was about eight years that we said right let's just have a break We've done the greatest hits. Now's a good time to have a break for a couple of years and each do our own thing. And some of the girls decided they wanted to go into TV and others of us decided with music. And, you know, for me, there was no question. I knew I wanted to carry on with music. I knew that for me, I just love the performing. I love writing and being in the studio. So I was like, okay, if we're going on this break, I need to start putting together, you know, an album and getting my material together. So that's why it's been quite a break, really from our last Saturday's gig was probably two years ago and everyone's like God, where have you been with this putting this album together but it takes time to go away and to write something and and put out the first song that you're really proud of you know it's it's not a quick process so yeah it's it's been quite time consuming but now that it's now that I'm back I'm like yes come on I'm, I'm on just, it I'm on Here we it because <laughs> back to you it's not you don't hear it and you go oh yeah it's just a Saturday song it's not the big pop song it's very yeah, different it's, was that important to, to make it your own and different yeah I mean definitely I mean 
when I first started writing this album, I did want it to just sound exactly like a continuation from the Saturdays. Because growing up, I'd hate it if like a band went on a break and then I'd follow them individually. If they went and did something completely different, I'd be like, hold on a minute. Like, I loved you for that sound. And I was like, I love pop. I'm going to carry on exactly with this Saturday sound. But as as time went on and I was writing the record, I... I I was going through some stuff at home and I thought, Do you know what, I'm actually going to write about this stuff that I'm going through. And it ended up that this song that, yeah, Back to You, that's my first single, it's kind of a ballad with a sort of upbeat, mid-tempo beat behind it. So it is different from the Saturdays. It wasn't sort of a, a, a conscious decision of I want to do something different, but it just ended up being different purely because based on what I'm writing about. So, yeah, it's it's been nice to, to keep with pop but do something just slightly different. So what have you been writing about? Making up, breaking up, falling in love, falling out of love, cooking sea bass, I mean, rice. cooking sea bass was going to be the first <laughs> single, but I didn't know it's how... It's a great we... name for the album. <laughs> Molly King, cooking sea bass. I mean, it might be the album name. Don't give secrets away. Oh, my oh, God. Spoiler. <laughs> no, um, it's... I can't remember what the question was now. What was the question? Tell what, what, you, what you've been writing about. Oh, so it's all been very personal stuff. It's been stuff that I've been going through over the last two years. A lot of it is about relationships and about a specific relationship that I've been through. Um, Not mentioning any names. <laughs> I mean, it's your and I relationship, obviously, that one oh, that actually. we're keeping secret. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's good to write personal things and, and I hope that people can relate to it and, you know, everyone goes through ups and downs with guys and girls. So, yeah, it's, it's all very personal, this album. You know, when you write a personal album, mm. even if you don't actually say who the song is about, mm. do you go to that person and go, look, I've got a song coming out and you're probably going to guess that it's about you or people will say it's about you. Do you do you go to that person first? Does he know? <laughs> it's great talking Does about something. We all, we all know who we're talking about when we're not saying who we're talking about. <laughs> um... I guess it depends on the person. It really doesn't and how, how it kind of ended and what terms you're on. But, um, I mean, for me, I, I didn't find... I, I mean, I, I, I haven't spoken to them about it, um, so I don't know if he's heard the song or not, but I guess it's just individual to every different relationship, really. Yeah, because it might not be about that person. Well, exactly. You know, she, there you go. It's like Beyonce's Lemonade album. <laughs> We don't know that she actually... Who is that Becky with the good hair? I mean, I want to get to the bottom of it. It's you. But it's like, does Becky with the good hair exist? Or is it just PR? We don't know. She's not come out and said. Who knows? I know, I know. It is keeping me up at night, to be fair. I need to know who this girl is. (laughs) Who is she? Come on, who who is she? she? How does she get the good hair? Are there any songs on the album coming up uh, about Prince Harry? Because I have been waiting for about three years to speak to you about this. Oh, my God. I can't believe you just asked me that. Yeah. Um, no, there are not. I'm sorry to disappoint. Sorry. Was no. there any truth in that rumour? Because I got so excited. Oh, my goodness. I can't not believe just for you're asking holiday. me this. I can't believe this, this rumour has come back around again. Um, we are just friends. So there, there is no truth in the romance rumour, I'm afraid. No. Okay. Look into the camera and say <laughs> we... It? It's just there. Hi, guys. We're just friends. We're just friends. Okay. There you go. Because <laughs> I wanted... Because the fact that your surname is King and it was royalty... Oh, I'm I, I sorry. I just, and it was just like off the back of the royal wedding. Everybody got <laughs> so excited. So close yet so far. <laughs> so no truth whatsoever. Sorry to disappoint. Sorry to disappoint. I'm sorry. You look like a princess. Oh, you so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not with this hat I'm wearing today. I'm not sure if that would go down a treat in the palace, but... Uh, but thank you. Molly is wearing one of those hats that if she took it off, it would be like a shampoo commercial. You could just shake your hair. Well, my friends everywhere. make fun of this hat because they say that I look like I'm about to, to like, I'm a taxi driver. Like, come on, all aboard. <laughs> but I'm like, there is nothing wrong with that. Who? What's wrong with that? So, yeah, I'm working it, even though my friends don't like it. I'm trying to anyway. Have the Daily Mail been outside? Because you're in the Daily Mail every day and you, what you do, you <laughs> click on the picture of Molly and it will tell you where you can get Molly's hat. <laughs> Or if you don't want that hat, there's the high street version of that hat. <laughs> I don't that? know if they're outside today, but uh, I have seen a few little things, yes, which is very odd. It's it's really weird when, 
you were actually still in the outfit and they're on there giving giving their opinion on it. And if it, if it goes down like a lead balloon, which obviously some of them do, you're like, oh, great, I'm still wearing this and uh, I'm about to go on a date in it any minute. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird how quickly articles and photos go up. It's a bit scary. Does that mean that in a morning you can't even open the curtains without looking amazing before <laughs> oh, you Oh, I definitely st- do. <laughs> you didn't want to see me this morning. But, uh, I mean, you can't take it too seriously. You really can't because an outfit that I personally might love, somebody else might hate. It's all just so individual, isn't it? Just your taste. And there are some people out there who are known as being the biggest fashionistas. And, you know, I personally might not like how they dress or, you know, it's so individual. So you can't, you're never going to appeal to everybody. So... Do do you read what people say or do you purposely ignore it? At the start of the band, I did because it was all really, really new to me and you're kind of interested in the responses. But as time's gone on, I try not to. I mean, I can't help sometimes if I've been tagged in something on Twitter and it comes up in my news yeah. feed. You can't help but maybe read a headline or something. But I try to not read too many comments on like tabloidy sites just because you know it does get you down yeah, I think I'm quite a softy and it, I'm not toughened up enough to not let it upset me so I'm better to just not read it rather than read it and then get upset about it so. unlike Frankie who's got have you seen the series she's done of for course Channel 5 I have. Frankie is hunting trolls I know it's amazing kicking she's... people's doors down going yeah <laughs> you've been saying about her <laughs> I know, she is so brave for doing that. It's really I literally, good. I was like, oh my God, she was telling me actually at the weekend, I was over at hers and she was like, Mole, you wouldn't believe we were waiting outside some of those people's houses for like six hours. I was like, oh my God, what were you doing? <laughs> but uh, no, she's done so well to do that documentary and the fact that she's bringing it, you know, to the surface and, and giving it so much attention, you know, it is an important thing. There are so many bullies out there and trolls and they do need to know that they actually can be hunted down so I'm so proud of her for doing it. I think she's Great. very brave for doing it. Especially when you're a celebrity in the, in the limelight because people, I don't think, think you're a human. They go, oh, totally. somebody who's there, they're a celebrity so they don't have normal feelings because they're a celebrity so they've yeah, got everything exactly. so it's all fine. Exactly. And I think that people assume that you're going to be really full of yourself or so confident that yeah. these comments wouldn't upset you. But actually, everyone is just human and if you read a comment saying, oh, you know, awful legs or something, you know, it, it, does, it does affect you. So, so it's it's good that Frankie's kind of drawn attention to this and you know, yeah, of course, we're all just humans, so any kind of insult it is gonna sort of stay with you. Yeah, let's just be nice to each other. I know, let's peace and love, man. Sea bats and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got a date for the album to be released? The album's coming out next year, yes. Okay. So there's not exactly a date just yet, but I'll have another single out before then and then it'll be out next year. So still a little bit of time, I'm afraid, but yeah, it will be coming. And then you're going to go on a little tour with it? Oh, I really want to, yeah. As soon as that album comes out, I'm literally going to demand a tour, even if, you know, who knows how many people are going to come down, but I'll be like, I'm on that tour. I'll be so... weird when you've been on stage on your own, <laughs> doing interviews on your own. So That's, but... That, I think, is going to be the weirdest thing because I've never been on stage really I mean not for the last kind of nine years without the girls so I'm going to look to the side and be like guys hello and we had so many like rituals of things that we would do before we'd go on the stage like we'd each have a set sequence of high fives and the order that we would do it all and getting our mics and yeah it was such a routine and it's going to feel really really scary actually without them so fingers crossed that the first couple of shows go okay you'll be fine <laughs> oh you'll thank be great. you they'll all be there supporting you anyway oh exactly there you go they'll they be will. side of stage <laughs> <laughs> lovely scene the single is out now yes Listen to it. Work out for yourself who you think it's about. <laughs> Prince Harry. Who not me? Who knows? Who knows? Always lovely to see you. And you. Thanks so much for having me. It's Molly King. Let the music set you free. Free radio.